In the modern era of web development, why do companies still use old technologies? Let's get into it. All right, guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back, and I done did it again one more time. Today, I want to go in and talk about this topic because a lot of beginners always ask themselves this. I used to ask myself this even when I started back in 2011, right? And it's like, why are these companies still using this old tech, like literally old frameworks, right? Old languages. Why are they still doing that? So let's talk about the fact that Guess what? If it's not broken, don't fix it. That's just the facts, right? A lot of companies are making money and a lot of times if it's already making money and guess what? The business is running. We don't need to update anything. We don't need to go in and, and stop everything that we're doing and now rewrite every single thing on the website, especially if it's not something about security, right? Now, if it's something about security as far as like, hey, there's a, a patch or something new that could help make the website more secure, then yes, companies are going to go and actually upgrade at that point because they have to, but not because they want to. Also, doing any type of migration to new libraries, new frameworks is very expensive for a company because guess what? Instead of building new features, you're rebuilding what was already there. And let's not forget, new versions come with new problems, new bugs that maybe you already had dealt with with other frameworks that you was using. So guess what? Companies don't want to be going in circle constantly. And you also have the old school, the dinosaurs, the guys that have been there for five, 10 years or even even more who are fighting it and they're like hey i don't want to update i don't want to go in and upgrade anything we already have everything done let's continue working on the application but there's no point of us going in and rewriting everything what we will call job security coding guys now i want to go in and take a look at a couple of frameworks and libraries that you're probably gonna find in the wild somewhere when you apply to a company most of the time these are the companies that will give you an opportunity as a junior level developer so let's go in and take a look at a couple of these so number one we will have to say is jquery jquery is everywhere it doesn't matter what website you go to Somewhere on their site, they're most likely using some type of version of jQuery. And jQuery has been around for a very long time. And it's still going to be around for even longer than that. Because there's just too many websites that already use it. And guess what? People don't want to go in and upgrade every single page on their site. That's just how it is. Another one that's like an old school framework. Some of you guys have never heard of it. This is way before uh, React, before you guys came into this space of being a web developer. But Backbone JS was like the number one thing back in the days. Backbone JS was literally the React of its time. So guess what? A lot of companies still use it. They still have it somewhere on their site. Um, and again, you might have to go in and, and use Backbone JS and maintain that code base. Another one that we have here is Angular JS. And no, we're not talking about Angular. There's actually two versions. There's Angular and then Angular JS. Angular JS is the original version of Angular before React came out, before they went into components. And this is something that a lot of companies still use till this day. The next one we have here is Joomla. <coughs> 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 One, two, three. The next one that we have right here is Joomla. And guess what? Joomla is a CMS system that is based on PHP. It wasn't as popular as WordPress, but it was still pretty big at the end of the day uh, at some point. So a lot of companies still use it and they have it somewhere on their code base. And again, some of these sites in here that might pop up on this list, I want you to understand that Yes, they might have it in different pages of their site that have been around for years. So when you see like the top websites, like for example, you might see something like OpenAI or ChatGPT that might use an old technology. It might have been on an old version of the site that they just haven't maintained and just basically plan on not maintaining it because it just doesn't make sense. So you might see something like that in some of this list. The next one we have here is Drupal. 
Drupal, like I said, it's an old technology, right? It's a CMS framework, but it's very secure. If you wanted to have like a secure website, as far as a CMS website, you would choose Drupal over WordPress. So this is what a lot of companies would do. As you can see, Europa.eu, a lot of government institutions use it. Um, a lot of universities use it. So yes, Drupal is definitely one of those frameworks that yes it's been around since like forever of course we have the the big daddy right wordpress which is probably like 40 50 percent of the internet uh, most websites are built with wordpress it's just because it's simple it's easy to to create a website there's a million different themes there's a million different plugins guess what it's great for seo purposes and it's still the number one cms system in the world now the next one that we have here is also connected to wordpress but this is woocommerce which is basically like a plugin for wordpress that allows you to sell products on a wordpress website so again you have all of these sites here that definitely use uh, WooCommerce. Another one that we have right here is Magento. Magento used to be the big boy, right? Whenever somebody was going to create an online store, they would basically use Magento for their site. Um, it, and it was cool. It was great. It was definitely based off PHP, um, and it was way better than using WooCommerce or WordPress. But to be honest with you, when you have things like Shopify, right? Shout out to the big S. <laughs> There's no point of using Magento. Like right now, this is just dinosaurs walking around. Okay. For sure. Now, will you see it in the wild? Yes. That's like, you know, you going through the grass and you, and you bump it to a weedle. You get what I'm saying? Like you're going to find <laughs> one of these applications out there. You apply to a company. Next thing you know, you're, you're there. You're like, holy shoot, who is that Pokemon? And Magento comes out. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like shout out to Pokemon, man. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to find some of these in the wild. Another one is Ember.js. Ember.js was really popular uh, before React. It was also one of these frameworks that was using MVC, Model View Controller. To be honest with you, I wish we could go back to those times. It was just much simpler, much easier to maintain applications. Now with the way how things is done, it's just, you know, you could easy, easily get into a spaghetti code and, and a bunch of random applications that have a million different packages. With something like Ember.js and even Backbone.js, like it was just simple. It's like, hey, you have everything over here in your model. You have your controller. You have your view. Okay, so it was just a great experience. A lot of people still use it to this day, and a lot of enterprise level companies still use it to this day. Ember JS guys. Now the old school, the the poppy of web frameworks, right? Uh, full stack applications. Uh, this used to be the number one framework in the world when it came to building applications super easily super fast and you know ruby the language i still say is the best programming language that's out there it's just over the years people have kind of walked away from ruby um, especially as javascript became more popular and people just got comfortable with the idea of hey let's just write everything in one single language right we're working on the web the number one uh, language is javascript let's try to build everything with javascript but ruby on rails is still probably one of the best frameworks out there and you will find it on the wild a lot of companies are built on top of ruby on rails okay this was the go-to application or go-to framework to actually go in and build startups so when you see nowadays next GS, you see like laravel guess what ruby on rails was that in that time from like maybe 2009 to like 2012, 13, around there. And yes, guys, this was the framework that everyone recommended to you. Just like how people recommend now Next.js, back in the days, every bootcamp and every online instructor would say, hey, man, you need to start building with Ruby on Rails. And guess what? 
you know, I learned that way, right? A lot of us learned that way. So anyone that went to a boot camp or was learning on their own in that time frame, yeah, we all know Ruby on Rails or we have some exposure to it. Now, guys, listen, if you like this video, make sure you leave a comment. Show me some love in the comment section. Tell me some old technologies that you've seen in the wild in the comment section. I want to know, like, what do you see out there? You were like, damn, they still using this thing? You know what I mean? Like, let me know in the comment section. And yeah, for anybody that's in here that's watching this and is looking to get into the industry looking to get into the game codingface.com is the number one spot i got so many students in here that are getting success that are getting into positions getting into the game it's a platform built for people just like you take your situations into consideration right we understand you're busy we understand that you know what this is the first time of you learning the skills and guess what we created a program that's based on that we're not trying to teach you everything in web development we're trying to teach you the things that's going to get you results so that way you don't get overwhelmed the goal is to get you into a position and then continue teaching you everything all the way to the full stack so yes we have web administrator email developer front-end development uh, full stack development and then from there again we also teach you how to make money independently as a developer and how you could go and set up your own businesses. So again, guys, definitely go check out the link in the description. We're going to have a 20% off in there for you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.